Hi guys, Coldcraft Tech, and this is going to be a tutorial on the radial blur in Vegas Pro 11. Here's just a quick preview of it from my montage trailer. So you can see it's where the like screen kind of comes out. That's also got a screen flash in there, which was from my last tutorial. So just look again. Yeah, so I'll show you how to do that in this tutorial. So what you're going to want to do is just get your clip. I'll just get a random clip, seven man feet here we go. And if we look where the bullet shots are, first of all you're just going to want to right click and click properties, disable resample, reduce insulate flicker and uncheck that one and click OK. Also video event pan and crop and get rid of the little just zoom in a bit and that get rid of black bars at the edge and the energy you get and now what you're going to want to do is just onto your clip you're going to find on the video effects tab you're going to find radial blur and find out whichever strengthness you want you can edit that in the actual thing I normally use strong proportional or whatever that's called and when you click on that this will pop up and you see it will just do that just click O put it back to normal and what you're going to want to do just drag this under here quickly and just click that clock thing there and what you're going to want to do is get just before where your gunshot is like here maybe and then make a new keyframe and then go a few frames forward to the beginning of the gunshot sound which is right there and then Gonna make a new keyframe on this and then just drag the strength foot to however much you want the thing to be so you can have like a weak one like that or really strong so you can hardly see anything but I'm going to put it to about there and then if you just go on a few frames and then you can select it back to zero so that is the radial blur I'll just do a, um, a quick RAM preview of this for you to show you what it looks like so as you can see what happened there is the screen just shoots out pretty much I did that one um, a bit too slow so you can just go back onto it just go back onto it and um, just like that was a bit too quick so I'm going to drag the ending out a bit and that one a bit and the actual thing and lower it a bit and then nope now I've messed it up but um, yeah if you want you can add a little screen flash in there and like I did on my montage trailer Add a screen flash in there, pretty much do anything. Can look cool for any type of montages or anything like that. So comment, rate, subscribe for more Sony Vegas Pro 11 tutorials, gameplays, speed arts, any other stuff I'm bothered to put on YouTube. And yeah, see you guys next time.